Hey, what's up, coin hunters, and welcome to this penny hunt with me, Richie. In the last video, when it comes to penny hunts, we did find a holy one. So, this is from the same batch of the holy one. So, you never know what we're going to find in here. They are also unsealed bags, and I was hoping in the last video that we would find at least some American pennies or at least something where whoever's paid them in has tried to bulk them up but unfortunately we don't have any but I've got a feeling that because of the way the world was for the last year or so we may be getting lots and lots of unsealed bags in the near future so I am hoping, hoping that I'm the one who gets all the um, dodginess and they don't get put out to other people so I'm gonna make sure that I um, get pennies regularly basically make sure I get them all the time but yeah so what are we searching for British pennies is there really anything people say the 1971 is so rare when it's not there's like billions of them um, well basically we're looking for um, anything that shouldn't be in here so anything from the Isle of Man um, Jersey, Guernsey, Gibraltar um, we have found some Falkland Islands in the past them ones they are like super rare though I think in the years I've been doing penny hunts now um, I've only come across maybe two three at maximum um, but they are like the rarest to find in this um, hunt but you never know we might get lucky that is like that is the true holy grail when it comes to my penny um, searches is to find a um, Falkland Islands really that's the main thing so let's have a look no there is nothing so far but to be honest for a while I'm not really expecting too much we've just got to get through all of the ones that's been paid into the bank and before you say but you're going to just pay them back into the bank I will go to a completely different bank so say I get these from HSBC which I know that won't happen um, I will actually pay them back into say Lloyd's or NatWest or something like that um, so they don't get what I call muddied into the waters um, during the pandemic I was talking to my dad and he was like oh why don't you just use the um, Coinstar machine in the supermarket and I was like you do know they take 15 ish percent is it 10 or 15 percent now um, when when it first died it was only like two percent um, of it and I'd basically go bankrupt paying, paying it into the thing so I had to wait but everything's open everything's happy um, we did lose lots of people in the last few years lots of people deny it um, I've had both my vaccinations I chose to uh, my wife has chose to I know the controversial thing about the kids having it now, the 12 to 16s, but I asked my son, he's coming up 13, um, it's his, well basically I told him it's his choice, it's going to be his first big decision um, because he's coming to the age now where I want to treat him more as an adult than a child get him ready for when he wants to go to university and stuff and he's chose to take it so if I'm not gonna stop him I've had a few other bus drivers tell me I'm crazy for me having it um, and telling me I'm wrong but at the end of the day the way I see it is we all have a choice if you choose to that's your choice if you choose not to that's your choice it's your body you decide what you do with it. Um, no one can tell you what to do. Um, I do enjoy when people tell me I've done my research. Um, 
I actually got told that that they've done their research and my body now is full of nanobots um, <laughs> and yeah and when I ask them where did you do your research and they tell me oh I went on Facebook yeah I could make a video and people could research that and that's not real research in my eyes real research is if um, they actually got their stuff and did lab experiments with it personally but yeah but everyone has a choice if you choose not to um, that's fine if you choose to that's fine it's your body do what you want um, as long as you're happy that's my main thing and why has this become like a bit of a rant <laughs> but yeah guys I'm just trying to talk about stuff while I'm not finding anything in these pennies but yeah I just think it's funny how some people like to tell me, try to tell me what to do um, when it comes to stuff and I know loads of people who have chose to and loads of people who haven't so I don't think either way we should be down talking either each of us um, I did go to the O2 arena recently to watch some wrestling um, it was amazing it was packed uh, it was packed I think there was a few seats um, where there was no one sitting but it wasn't like um, massive gaps it was like the odd seat where I guess people just didn't want to go sit on their own kind of thing um, it was amazing and yeah we had to have COVID uh, if you have a COVID passport you had to show it um, my best friend didn't get the vaccine he chose not to and all he had to do basically was take a test the day well the morning um, register it and he just showed that he had taken the test that day so I don't see all the fuss with this uh, COVID passport thing either just if you want to go do something have some fun and you know you're going to go just grab one of the tests and register it that it's negative and go have your fun don't let anything stop you now you know the only thing that can stop you doing living your life normal now is yourself so that's that's it you know he took his covid test um it was obviously negative and when we went actually to the o2 arena there are people outside asking there was a few people arguing um that got turned away because they refused to cooperate with the uh, rules and like literally the security threw them out <laughs> Um, which if you want to go and enjoy something and the tickets aren't cheap Fr three of us went and that's, we paid over 300 pounds in total just for the tickets and that's not including 30 pounds for a t-shirt um, and stuff and other stuff and like needing to take a mortgage out to buy a burger you know who Fiverr you are I'm not gonna say your name um, <laughs> but this is the last now guys right here we go nothing again so guys sorry I wasted your time but at least I had a little bit of a rant ish kind of thing so guys thank you very very much for taking the time to watch this video I do appreciate it and I will see you in the next one so take care and happy coin hunting goodbye